Hello everyone. Myself, Dr. A. Manika, working as an assistant professor at Department of MCA in Sona College of Technology. Firstly, I express my sincere thanks to Dr. C. Mokka Purna, Principal, Convener, Dr. A. Supramani and Dr. K. Periyasam, Organizing Secretary, Pusa Coordinator of M. V. Mokriya Government Arts College for Women, Dindical, for organizing such a wonderful one week YouTube video tutorial FTP on online tools for teaching and learning. In a young body, cutter, capital corner, I warmly welcome to the session on ICT tools for effective teaching, learning, and assessment. Blackboard Learn Part 2. An assessment is very important process that gathers, analyzes, and interprets to determine how well student learning is improved. We are strongly believe in the assessment that it enriches the nature of human minds, cherishes the origin of knowledge, and the progress of the learning. With a modern, intuitive, fully responsive interface, Blackboard Learn delivers a simpler, more powerful teaching and learning experience that goes beyond the traditional learning management system. In Blackboard, the instructor can use a test which has a set of methods for assessing students' understanding in the specific course. Example, the instructor can uh, conduct the test in the form of class test, internet test, quizzes, to assess the students to know the level of knowledge in a particular topic and they can review the course outcome. Let's go to Blackboard Login Portal. So this is Blackboard Login uh, Portal. The course instructor has to log in for creating, deploying the test. Type their username and password. Once it is logged in, it opens the course instructor's dashboard. So currently we have to create the test and deploy the test. So that we have to choose the course where we want to create and deploy the test. Now look at the top right corner. There the instructor has to select the option courses. If you select the courses, it lists in the center panel course list. This course list list the previously handled courses and currently handling courses. Example here, I choose web technology. If I am choosing this specific course, web technology, immediately it navigates the specific home page. In left side, we have a panel where we have a more number of content areas for managing the learning process. The instructor has to plan how they are organizing the test because the instructor can conduct the test to the students in the form of class test, internet test, quizzes and lab test. So, so that he has to create a folder to, st uh, to store the test retakes, to store to create the test and deploy the test. So move the mouse to the left at the top corner. There we can see the plus symbol. So click this and immediately the drop down menu box opens. So now we have to choose content area. Content area is like a creative folder. So now we have to give the name of the content area. So already I highlighted the content area is a folder. Example, I am going to conduct the quiz test. So I give the name as a quiz series. And immediately we have checklist. It asks whether you want to make available to the user. 
Of course, we conduct the test for the students. So this content area should be available in the user's dashboards. So click this and uh, do submit button. If you do this, immediately it created a quiz series as a folder. So we are clicking this quiz series folder. That quiz series pan it is open. Under quiz series, we have a build content, assessment, tools, and partner content. So today our session is how we are conducting the test. So create the test, apply the test, we should go for assessment. Instructor can process the assessment in the uh, form of test, survey, assignment, cell, compare, assessment, mobile compatible test. For example, now I am going to choose test. If we click the test, it opens a create test. So this create test, it instructs it instruct to the instructor to create the test. That is, what kind of test is going to be created. So, create test we have a component that is add test. So, this very simple uh, component. So, this component which is used for creating a new test or um, or you can use uh, the available test. So currently we are going to create a new test. So you choose create new test and click create button. If you click this create button, it immediately navigates test information. So this test information, we have to type a name for the test. This is a record field one. And the name is the title text that appears in the content area. Use a descriptive name to help user and do the test. So test information is nothing but we create a test name. So that test name should be related to the uh, test you want to conduct to the students. Example, you are going to create a class test. So you give a related to, uh, to the term, uh, give the name. You create the test for quizzes. So related to that quiz, you give the name. For example, you plan for three kind of quiz. So you can give a name as a quiz one, quiz two, quiz three. Likewise, you can use this name too. So now I use a Q1 as a the first test. So description about the test, you want to convey some information or details to the students. So we use this description, description place. So description is nothing but uh, you can say uh, this quiz one test consists of how many questions and how many marks it is, uh, it is carried. And follow by we have an instruction. So instruction, you want to give any instruction, uh, specific instruction to the students. So you can carry here. So I type the description, this is this one, this one, instruction, answer, all the questions, questions. The times. So after giving the description and instruction, the instructor can click submit button. So once it is submitted, the test Q1 is created. 
So the test, uh, it is called as a test canvas. So the test canvas, it is nothing but the Q1. We create a one template that is Q1. So where we can create the questions and where we can uh, set the number of questions to this Q1. So it creates test canvas for Q1. So this test canvas let us to add, edit, reorder the question as well as review a test. So here we have a three menus that is create questions, reuse questions, upload question, and right corner we have question settings. So what description we are given in the Q1? So that description and instruction it is shown before taking the uh, test, before beginning the test is shown. And here we have a total question and total points. So now we are going to create the uh, test questions. The test canvas allows instructor to add and edit questions, add question sets or random blocks, reorder question and review the test before deploying it to the user. Question settings. Question settings control the option available when creating test questions. Not all options are available for all question types. To view and modify test question settings on the test canvas page for your test, click on question setting button. Review each settings and check or uncheck each as appropriate for this test. These are the settings for you when you are creating each question, not for when students are answering it. When you have these settings completed, click the submit button. So you go through all the features. If you want to add those features along with the questions, so you can add it. Um, the instructor wants to give a feedback for the individual answer, uh, then you can check it. You want to add images, files, web links to uh, web links to refer uh, refer to the related uh, refer to the question. So you can add it here. And likewise, question metadata and scoring screens. So scoring screens by default has a uh, default value ten. And uh, we have a you want to add a partial credit option. Uh, yes, you can click it. If you want to add a negative points, then you can uh, click it. So these are our settings where we can set the features which is added to the uh, question panel. So after checking all the features, you simply click the submit button. So now second step, uh, step is how to create a new question. So go to create questions. Create a question by pointing to the create question menu and choose the question type. So create question has a number of type of questions. So the instructor, the instructor, so what he wants, the type of question, he can select the, the types and then give the questions. So example, I am going to create a question true false. Okay, true false. So now it opens the wizard to create edit questions. So this true false question displays two answer option true and false. So there is no partial credits given to this kind of question. So the rate mark, it is a mandatory field. So question title, it is option one. So fill in the question title, question text. It's related to the question text. Example, I give that age. I 
after this we have a question text so i'll type the question text have h have h is cost to design for a special digital computing machine that's called the analytical engine so this is my question Followed by we have option. So in what order you want to display the answer options? Either in a vertical order or horizontal order. I choose horizontal order. And answer. What is the answer for this question? The answer of this question is false. So now the instructor can give the correct response and incorrect response. If the student select true. That is wrong answer, wrong attempt in this question. So he has to give the how how this question becomes wrong. So he he has to give the detailed information in the incorrect response feedback. The correct response feedback. Incorrect response feedback. Yes, the student answer is correct, and we can give the additional information related to the correct answer. Tagging question for videos. Under the categories and keyword section, you can tag each question with your own set of categories, topics, level of difficulties, and keywords. These tags can then be used later when you want to reuse your question in another test. So, we have this component categories and keywords. So, you can set the categories by adding. So I give a category as a two, two or false category. A topics. You want to give a topics? Yes, you can give it. So I give the topics as a basic. And second one, levels of difficulties. So I say medium. And then you can set the keywords. I set the keyword baggage. You may also choose to provide instructor notes for your benefit. The student will not see them. So it's for the uh, instructor understanding. It's not for students. When done with the question details, click the submit button to save this question in your test. So. You submit this under this test canvas key one. We have one more option: submit and create another. If you click the submit and create another, that means we submitted this question. That is, we say this question, and also we repeat the same pattern for another question. So this is for sample. So I click a submit button. So this means now you created created test for a test in the name of Q one, which has only one question. So likewise, you can create the more number of question as you as your uh, the uh, needs of a test. You want to create a essay type of test? Yes, you can proceed. You want to uh, file response. Uh, from the students, example, you are conducting the class test. You ask the students to write the answer sheet and take a photos, convert as a single PDF. That PDF can be uploaded into here as a file response mode. And also, you want to uh, create a test uh, with a fill in uh, fill in multiple blanks, fill in the blank, 
or matching uh, matching uh, type, multiple answer, multiple choice. Yes, you can proceed. So now we created one sample test. So this sample test in the name of Q1, it has a one question. So it shows description, instruction, total question, total points. So this total point is a 10 because the point is a default value 10 points. You want to change the point values. Uh, you can look at below. That is we have option. You select all the questions. You want to update the point for all the questions commonly. That is evenly. You select all. If you select all, all the questions are selected. And give the common points to, uh, points to for all the questions. So uh, example, each question carries one points. So you give a points as a one and give update. So that question that uh, that question points will be updated. So this points is common to all the questions. Else you want to set a different uh, point, different weightages to the each question. So you can uh, go by each uh, each question and you can see here the points. If you click this points, you can change the points. So likewise, you can do for the remaining set of questions. So once the question has been created, you complete the test creation. So for that, for that, you click OK button. If you click OK, your test has been created successfully. And next step is how do we deploy the test? After creating a test, it is not automatically accessible to the students. You must deploy a test in a content area of your site in order for student to see it and take it. So how to deploy a test? So from your course menu, course menu, click on the content area where the student will assess your test. So our name is uh, our name is a quiz series, right? So quiz series. So select test from the assessment menu. That is, we we have automatically it, it is created create test. So in this test we we uh, created the test in the name of Q1. So you select this Q1 and do submit button. So now the test option will be so. The test option control the instruction, availability, due dates, feedback, self-assessment, presentations of the test. So for existing uh, uh, availability settings, you can make exception for individual students or groups. Use exception to provide an accommodation to a student who is disabled or for technology and language differences. If the settings exit for a test or survey, you can create. Also, you can set the due date on late submissions, whether you are allowing for late submission or not. Also, you can set the option for self-assessment, feedback, and test presentation. So, test option. That is nothing but we go through the all the futures. If you want to use the futures, you make it off. So test information, uh, we have a test description and then we have a test availability. So test availability, this means whether you want to make available to the students. So here they, we have a default uh, settings, no. And uh, likewise, add a new announcement for this test also, uh, no. So you make it as a yes, yes. Okay, test availability. Make available to the students as yes. And add a new announcement for this test, yes. And we have multiple items. You, you are allow them to make the multiple items. You can click this multiple items and then give a number of items. That item should, uh, that attempts more than one time. And we have a force completion. For force completion means once it is started, the test must be completed in one sitting. And set timer, we can set the time for complete completing the test. So we can set the timer for 30 minutes. 
and also we can force to submit the test after the time is over so auto submit you select as a on so it is automatically submitted when the time is over so next thing is we have a display um, how long you are going to be display this test that is from when from when and when to you display and make available this, this test to the student dashboard so click display after and select the date and give the time so from this time it is started and display until how long your uh, you open this test example end of the day and you want to set the password yes you can set the password and also you can restrict the location so, so you want to conduct the test at the specific location yes you can give the restriction locations or else the student can take the test their own their own laptop own mobile or uh, at any anywhere and inside the classroom an x1 test availability exception just now i said so test availability exception you can make exception for individual students or groups. And uh, next thing is due date. To prevent late submission, to prevent late submission, you can select the checkbox. So do not allow the students to start the test if the due date has passed. To prevent late submission, you can select the checkbox for do not allow students to start the test. The due date has passed. The student receive a message after the due date notifying them that the test can, can no longer be completed. So you can set the due date. So due date is end of the day. Do not. So you can check this. And self-assessment uh, option. By default, a deploy test is included in grade center calculation. However, you may allow students to take this for review or practice without impacting grade center calculation. You can turn the test into self-assessment by hiding student score in the grade center. This allows students to take test to reinforce learning without failing pressure about the score and getting their total grades. So select the appropriate option in the sort test result and feedback to the students section so they are able to see how they did them. If you select all the options, students will see the answer they selected and which ones are correct. So include this test in grade center score calculation. And next comes so test result and feedback to options. In so results feedback to the student section you can set which result and feedback are available to students after they complete a test of survey you can set one or two rules using the drop down list you cannot choose some rules in the combination after you select a rule in the first drop down list some may not appear in the second drop down list each rule is mutually exclusive for example if you if you wants is chosen any selected answer option would be available to the user immediately regardless of what the other route is set to so i choose a after submission I show the submitted. Yes, I need a submitted. And the after due date, I need all the answer, the current things, and submitted. And they think I need a fee card. And, uh, and the question correct things. And they think I need it. Okay. So, in this manner, you can set this. And next one test presentation. You can select how you would like questions presented to the students. All at once, one at a time, prohibit backtracking. All at once, present the entire test on one screen. That is, you can collage all the questions in a single page. 
one at a time, present one question at a time. Prohibit backtracking, prevent change in the answer to a question that has already been submitted. Also, you can do randomized questions. You want to do randomized question? Yes, you can proceed. So now you do submit. So if you submit that, your test test deployed. So now you can check this one into the students preview mode. So now we are getting to the student preview mode. So this test becomes available in the students dashboard. If you click this. So the test is start now. So you want to start the test? Yes, you click the begin. So it shows the testing information along with the uh, questions. So by sample, we created only one question that is true or false. So you can see that test. And um, actually, we said this question answer is false. Okay, if you select a true, that question becomes wrong. If the select you select the false, that that question answer is right. So, you click the answer, you can save it. Automatically, your answer is saved. So, before submitting uh, the test, you can save n number of times. Once the test is started, the time you can look here, that is the time is went off. Actually, we set the 30 minutes. So within a 30 minutes, they have to take the test. So within a time, they can save a number of time. And uh, uh, the student has to ensure to complete the test within a specified deadline. So now I exit. Student preview mode. I click. So already we used quiz folder and uh, I conducted a two quiz test, quiz one, quiz two. I show the, actually this definition uh, is over, so I show the uh, edit the test. So now you can, you can view the questions. So this case which consists of 25 different questions and each question carries uh, one mark. So number of attempts 30, 30 students take this test. So you can see here. So we have a fill in the plan. It is all, all the questions are MCQ time. That is multiple choice. So you can um, set the so what type of question you are to related to the topics. Likewise, we have conducted internet test CLT. So this is internet test. So we created this test and uh, we simply we upload that question paper at the time of uh, time of test. So how can we upload this questions? Question paper to conduct the test. So go to quiz series and again you go to assessment and choose test and use the same create a new test that is uh, Q2 Q2 and click submit so now we have another two options that is reuse question and uh, upload questions so if you want to reuse the questions to find the questions you find the question cloud There is no questions from here. So if, if it is uh, already available in this in this uh, forum, we can use the reuse questions. Or we can create a 
was decent. So now I go to the upload question. Upload question, you simply you can browse and choose the questions. Example. So this is basic test. I save this file as a Word document in desktop. go to the portal. So our portal is how did you upload the question. So if you click this upload, this upload question, simply you can uh, look here browse button. If you click this, simply you can select the question. Search fastest one to open. So now the fastest one that targets is open. And also, you can uh, set the overall comments of this question paper 10 marks and do submit.
So it has a text file, so you can convert as a text file. Let's do this question as a text file. You can see this. How to upload the questions? How to upload the questions? So now we go to the uh, test options and where you can found the insert file. Just you click this and browse course. You have already set up uh, question banks. You can use uh, the same uh, existing question paper or else you can choose the different uh, files. So now I'm choosing browse my computer and uh, select the last test one. Then do submit. Do submit. So now this link is available in the history. Click the open list. Yes, yes, yes. It will be available. And the next one is available. I'll save the times. paper and write the questions or uh, write the answer in this uh, sheet and uh, take a photo and convert as a single video file then take it back into the plan so how the students answer this class test if they start the test it opens Start the test. So you have to choose the option where the student submit the responses. So you go to the exit preview, you can do this, and go to that quiz uh, series. So now you need uh, how can you upload the question? But uh, one thing we have to consider how the students are uploaded their answer script as a response. So for that, we go to that uh, consent test and go to the edit the test. So now we have this test right. So we go create questions and select file response. We have to select file response. Right? And give the title. What is the title? Class test one. And click the question paper. Question paper. Already, I created one question paper, class test one, that is available in my desktop. So, I uploaded that question paper into here. So, do submit. Again, we do submit. So, question paper will be attached to that. So, you want to add the rubrics? Yes, you can proceed the rubric. Uh, currently, you are all uh, beginners, so you have to create a own rubric system. For conducting the test and process. Then click submit. So now we create a test list. Now you click OK. Now it is click back. So now you get into the student's screen page. Go into 
subject to this series. Okay, clicking Q2, it shows the instruction. Start begin. The student begin. The question paper they can be downloaded and similarly they can upload their answer screen as a response. Question. So in this manner, we can conduct the test in the mode of file response. So now we exit the program. Okay, participants. Now you are, I hope you are all understand uh, how can we create the test. How can we set a number of questions under the test and then how to apply the test to the student. And next thing is Grade Center. So Grade Center is in the course management panel. You go and check the Grade Center. Here we have a two kinds, needs grading, full grade center. So select needs grading. If you select needs grading, so here we have a uh, categories. According to the categories, you can now uh, view the grade sheet. So the Blackboard Grade Center, it resembles a spreadsheet that was designed to be used as a grade book. So here we show represent a user in your course and each column includes information for assessment items such as an assignment, test, graded log entry or sorry. You can also use columns to call the grades both letter and numeric. And we have one more option that is full grade center. So this is full grade center. By default, the full grade center displays students entry information. That is students last name, first name, username, and session, lost access, availability. Along with this, we have a weightage marks and then uh, all the test marks. If you scroll like this, you can see the student attempts. The student attempts. The default grade center also include a total column that simply sums up the score and contain in any grade columns. So you can see here the weightage total and total. So it is very benefit for the faculty using a grade center. Instructors can provide and manage students' grade for assignment, test, discussion posts, journals, blogs, and so test. Also, the instructor can give the timely feedback. It is important to clearly state how grades should be calculated. And uh, if grades should be based on a point total, percentage, letter grade, then grades and feedback will be posted. So now we uh, example, I'm showing the quiz. Already I connected to, the, uh, to my students. I click this quiz one. So it shows the mark, the uh, pain mark. You want to change this mark? Yes, you can do it. So now I'm showing how the grade uh, grade can be given to the A students. So go to the knee screening and choose categories as a test and choose the item because the test has a different item, right? We conducted two screens, you have to select this. And if you're clicking this OK button, so it shows the number of students has taken the quiz one. If you click this, so this quiz one already I, I did it. Uh, so I did the grade graded to the students. So only one student was pending. So now I'm showing that the uh, students grade sheet for your understanding of this. So this was the students grade sheet. It shows all the attempts in all use. If any answer is wrong, it shows the wrong icon. If the answers are right then it shows the right icon. If the answers are right answer, 
it automatically fill the um, the point values that is weightage values to the each question. If the question is wrong, there is no weightage is given to the the point box. So in this manner, the grade should be grade should be reviewed by the faculties and check the all the questions, and they finally they have to submit. So here they can give the feedback to the uh, students. So the instructor can give the their explanation description about uh, um, the wrong answers, incorrect responses. If the instructor finally submit the button. That uh, graded will be recorded in the grade sheet. So before the course starts, it is important to the instructor that uh, they have to verify that the grade center is set up correctly. And all graded items are included, and the columns are properly organized, and grade rating is set up correctly. I hope you are all understanding uh, today's session: how to create a test, apply the test, then uh, how can we grade the test. So in Blackboard Learn, uh, we have uh, so many things because uh, we have evaluation center. In evaluation center, you can uh, check the performance of the students, student activities. We have three kinds of reports, course report, performance dashboard, retention center. Example course report. So example, I'm... Uh, Taking course activity overview on this and choose the date. So this course was conducted during the period of uh, February 2020 up to May 28. So I click this, do submit. So now we generate course activity. Download the reports, it shows the report. So, total time in course 645.41, average time per active 15.01. So, students, so uh, students are viewed, there are 44 students are enrolled in this course. So, their individual usage time it is shown as a graph. So, in this time box chart, we can check how the students are actually participated in the course. So likewise, we go for another report, course report. So in this overall summary report, we select the period, select the period, figure is same. And select the participants and do submit. Download this report. So now you can see announcement contain two ninety one kids and twelve percentage were used and the content thousand third. 339 times picked and percentage level 56 and the instructor grade book on the 624 times uh, picked 26.36 and students grade book again 74 3.13 so overall picked is 2367 this is overall users activities this activities which is shown uh, shown by uh, monthly basis so you can look here it shows a monthly basis. So, using this kind of reports, we can uh, track the students' active participations, performance for the physical course. 
Okay, thank you once again for uh, listening my session. Once again, I thank to Dr. K. Sudhramani, Organizing Secretary, Rusa Coordinator, and Dr. K. Periswami, Organizing Secretary, Rusa Coordinator, and then uh, Dr. C. Raka Purman, Principal Convener of this FDP. Thank you. Thank you once again.